As I had figured out a process for making salt consistently with taste, texture, and color being the, the three primary characteristics of great salt, I then went and tested 27 different spots of water from Southern Oregon coast all the way up to Nia Bay in Washington state. I wanted to find the best seawater for the salt that I was making. We are on the very south end of Neatarts Bay. Neatarts Bay is a seven mile long bay that is right on the edge of the Oregon coast and it's arguably the cleanest bay on the west coast of America. Tens of millions of oysters are farmed here annually and each of those little oysters filters seawater and some of the time the seawater reaches us. We've got this like ultra high salinity pre-filtered by oysters seawater and it's the perfect storm of, of really perfect salt making conditions. That whole process from seawater right here to dry flake of salt right up there takes about two and a half weeks. And Paul's kind of our last line of defense to make sure everything's the way it should be. So the water comes in clean. We pump into two 10,000 gallon bay water tanks. We hold it there, put it through a high pressure filtration system, which takes it down to one micron, which is very small. We hold that water in our, in our pre-brine tanks. When we pump it from the pre-brine tank to the boils, it goes through another one micron filter. So we filter all the way down to one micron, which prevents microplastics from getting into our salt because I want to be sure that we're obviously producing the best product possible and, and, with that, and that's free of microplastics. And we've had our product tested and that's confirmed. And so that feels really good. We have four large boil pots in here. It's so nice and warm in here. It is. It feels good. <laughs> What we do is we fill this up. We'll put 300 gallons of the filtered brine in here, and we boil it and we boil it. We have valves on these lines, and we adjust them slightly till we get it till it's going into the boil pot as fast as the water is boiling away. We boil seawater, of course, to remove the volume of the seawater, but most importantly, to remove the calcium and magnesium. We extract that from the seawater to give our salt a super, super clean, briny taste. So after it's boiled, where does it go? When the salinity reaches a certain point, we shut it off, we let it cool off a little, okay. and then we pump it into our holding tanks, and from there to our evaporators. These are our evaporators, they're 150 gallons. We fill them up with the brine that we pump from the boils, and then we put fire underneath them. What you can see happening is the flake will form on the surface of the brine. Oh yeah, look at that. And they're that beautiful, kind of pyramid shape already. Right. Yes, it forms that way naturally. Nothing we can do can make it happen or stop it from happening. And you can see on the bottom right. of this yes. piles of this soft white right. salt that is just kind of sunk to the bottom. And it builds up and when it gets to a certain depth, we scoop it up, we put it in the barrels. The barrel sits here till it's full, it's moved back there. That's where I rinse it. It looks like I'm washing away a lot of the salt. What is happening is it's compacting. Okay. And the stuff that is getting washed away is the calcium and magnesium compounds. After we rinse it, we let it drain for three or four days, and then we put it in the dehydrator. The dehydrator just kind of gets the rest of all of those small bits of moisture out? No matter how long we let it drain in the barrels, it's never going to be dry. Okay. A lot of the sea salt you buy, you, you pick up the bag, you see there's a little bit of moisture in it. Yeah, absolutely. It's not been dried. It's just been drained. And there's nothing wrong with wet salt. We just want to give people a pound of salt, not three quarters of a pound of salt and a quarter pound of water. Makes sense. And also the texture, when you pick it up, it doesn't cling to anything. Right, right. And it's, it's, it's beautiful stuff. This is our post-production area. This is where all of the magic happens. Would you like to assist me in this? I would love to. The oh, salt yeah. has been drying for four days. It's beautiful. I love that sound. It means the salt is perfect. When we get it sifted, we have stuff that looks like this. It's gorgeous. It is beautiful. It is light. It is delicious. May I taste it? Yes, you may. And what we're looking for is, first of all, it should taste all across your tongue, not just on the salt receptors. That's what we call sweet. It should be bright. In other words, very clean flavor. It should be brief. 
there and then gone. Absolutely. And briny rather than salty. No scratching is at the back of the throat. And not super intense. It's really kind no, of light. It's very subtle. Yeah. And the texture of it is lovely. It's, it's so crisp. Mm-hmm. 